my friends, and welcome to Copenhagen, Denmark in the winter. I lived across the water here in Sweden 20 years ago. I came to Copenhagen all the time. I loved it. We would come here because the beer was a lot cheaper. And now I'm back 20 years later, and we're going to explore some Christmas markets. And look who's here! It's Ali! Welcome in! <laughs> she learned a Danish word. Let's go have some fun! Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in yes. one oh. How's it going? What do we, we have, have here? We have Luke. Luke. Glug, what is glug? It's warm wine with cinnamon, cardamom, and orange. Oh, did you take nice. card? Yes, oh, we take fantastic. credit card. Yay, we take credit card. Uh, one consistency is they put these raisins and almonds in it. I'd have to fish around to find an almond, but it's good. You let it sit in there and it gets all nice and soft and boozy, and then you eat it at the end. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one horse open sleigh. This whole street right here is called Niham, and it's beautiful. It's a canal, and there's boats lined up in all these old buildings. And when I came here, when I was 20 years old, 18 years old as an exchange student, I loved it. It was my favorite spot to hang out in the summertime, because in the summertime, the sun stays out almost forever. In the wintertime, it's the opposite. It is 4 p.m. right now, and it is dark, but it is cozy. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one or so. When I start drinking the glug, I start shopping. That's, that's why they, they sell it so cheap here. <laughs> this place is really fun. So far it's my favorite. They have a bunch of little animals and donkeys and even dinosaurs made out of wool. And they're actually handmade in Nepal. All fair trade. And yes, they are expensive, but they are cute. You really have to watch yourself when you're crossing the streets here in Copenhagen. There are a ton of bikes. And there's a special lane just for bikes, and if you don't get out of the way, they will run you over. I take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. This chocolate right here is really cool, and you wouldn't even know it's chocolate because it looks like old tools and faucets and even rebar, but everything is chocolate. They do such a good job with the detail. I mean, it seriously looks like old rusty metal. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one or so Thank you. Thank you. They don't really have burritos in Scandinavia, but they do have crepes filled with chocolate and bananas. Thank you, Ali. Ali just got me this. Sweets mm, want some? Sweet. Oh, you can't have it. It has gluten. Sorry. I had never been to these Christmas markets before. Even though I'm not really buying much, it's just fun to be around the atmosphere and the people, and it's just super cozy. And the word for cozy in Danish is hygge. You should learn that word. It's a very good word. It's like cozy. When everything is just like right and it feels good and warm and soft and fuzzy. Hige. This is super cool. This building right here behind me is one giant advent calendar. I wonder if when the day comes up, if a giant piece of chocolate falls out. When I was a kid, I used to get so excited about Christmas because I never wanted Christmas to end. And these Christmas markets feel like Christmas is just every day. I think these markets go on for about a month, the entire month of December, and they just bring so much joy and happiness. And I love the lights and the smells and the food and the people and the smiles and the little toys and everything. And these lambskins are very soft. Oh, it's too small. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, yes. <laughs> there are a lot of trolls in Denmark, and I don't know the history with the trolls, but they sell them all over Denmark and Sweden and Norway, and all these trolls are the Christmas ones. I think they're, they're elves. They work at Santa's workshop. We are now in my favorite amusement park in the entire world, Tivoli. I love this place and I'm so excited for you to experience it. You're gonna love it. I am really impressed that this park is open in the winter. I mean, I've never seen an amusement park open in the dead of winter ever. <laughs> Doing it in the cold would make it scarier because it's like your face is freezing off as you're flying through the air. Uh oh! 
<laughs> Rudolph. Oh, it's Allie. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. This is like kind of a scary way to do Santa Claus. Yeah, I guess if you really want to trick your kids, that's the way to do it. Full face Santa mask. This ride behind me is my favorite in the entire park here in Tivoli. It is the Flivande Couffert, which I think means the flying uh, suitcase or something. And it takes you through all the Hans Christian Andersen's stories. And it's not a roller coaster, it's not exciting, there's no adrenaline, but I just love it. It's simple, it's sweet, and I'm excited for you to see it. Hey, you've been telling me about this ride pretty much since I met you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I love this ride. It's just like transports you to fantasy land and you will see what I'm talking about. Which number of cars should we get? Oh, any, I don't know. Pick one, pick one. <laughs> it moves. Oh, it's going too fast. I'm gonna miss it. Allie, wait for me. Ah. Okay, here we go. It's the Little Mermaid. I know that was really fast, Allie. What did you think? Oh, it was really wonderful. It brought me back to all those childhood fairy tales that you know I grew up with. My dad used to always read me Hans Christian Andersen. And yeah. Yeah, it was really cool to see them portrayed here and then to see real life Hans Christian Andersen at the end. That was him, right? That was Hans Christian Andersen at the end, animatronic Hans. <laughs> you know what's really cool is like a lot of these fairy tales, we don't even realize that Hans Christian Andersen wrote them. You know, he is played a big role in the lives of children all over the world. You know what else is really special? That you've been telling me about this ride since we met and we're here together. I know, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. We are in Copenhagen, Denmark, in Tivoli, my favorite amusement park in the world, together at Christmas time, and it's super cozy. Mwah. <laughs> think of Tivoli Alley? It was quite the winter wonderland. It is a winter wonderland. Thank you Tivoli. Thanks Tivoli. I'm not sure exactly what's happening here, but these bears are having a wonderful Christmas time. Jingle bells, jingle 